Hey, I just wanted to very quickly give you my response and reaction to the recent Patriotic Front uh, press conference that they held that was chaired by uh, the man that, that walks around with the binoculars, Mr. Rafael Nakachinda. And I'm always amused every time I see the Patriotic Front on social media or in mainstream media, I'm always amused because it's like watching paint dry. They regurgitate the same things over and over and over again. The Patriotic Front has simply refused to accept that the Zambian people have moved forward. No pun intended. But we have. And the PF are somehow stuck and they're frozen in time. The PF refused to accept that we are living in a post, a post-election era. The elections are done, uh, 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 they're done and gone. We're done away with that. We've done away with that. We're now moving towards a different goal. And, and that's okay. You, you must understand that. It's okay to, to have a different choice. A and I was amused when Mr. Nakachinda talked about how we're carrying out a post-mortem <laughs> of our failures. And as you know, a post-mortem is an examination of, uh, of a dead body to determine the cause of death. And the PF are going around the country, claims, claims Mr. Rafael Nakachinda, which, is, which I know is untrue because the, P the Patriotic Front doesn't have the wherewithal. They don't have the resources to do that. They haven't been going around the country. With what money are they doing that? That's just, that's just a fable that Mr. Nakachinda uh, spews from his mouth. The PF are not going around anywhere. All they've done is they've called a few friends, called a few people that they know, and, and, and they've come up with this, this, uh, the results of this post-mortem where they claim that, no, we now realize the folly of our ways. We know now that we were brutal, that our kadas were out of control, that there was a sense of lawlessness, that, that we had no, no respect for authority. We had no respect for, for institutionalism. We now know that. Duh, that's, that's ridiculous. You, you, you knew that then, but because you were in power, you were so consumed with arrogance that you were blind to see it. Now, now the PF claimed to have this new outlook on life. I refer to the word of God. Jeremiah 13, verse 23. Can an Ethiopian change his skin color? Can a leopard change its spots? Neither can a man who is accustomed to doing evil can all of a sudden turn around and do good. Are you catching that? If a man is evil to begin with, and then later on they claim, oh, I'm going to be good from now on. Change doesn't happen like that. Change doesn't happen by pronouncements. It doesn't happen from here. It happens here. So the question then is, is the Patriotic Front a different party? Absolutely not. It's got the same scoundrels, it's got the same guys in there, the same mob, the same gangsters, the same kadas. It's got the same, the same characters that characterized the brutality of the PF are still there. And here it is, they're claiming Oh no, we've carried out a post-mortem. Oh no, we're cha we've changed. We're a different party. You're not, you haven't changed. Lastly, let me tell you, a few weeks ago, uh, we saw on social media uh, several different big companies denying any involvement with the PF. Big companies, because there was an accusation out there that uh, so-and-so company was funding the PF. These big companies, after the PF lost, had to come out and say, no, we don't fund the PF. So because these big companies have announced, they've said that they have no involvement with the PF, guess what that means? It means the Patriotic Front doesn't have the financial muscle to sustain itself. And during this press conference, Mr. Nakachinda said that it is now up to every well-meaning Patriotic Front member to put in there, to, to, to invest into, in, into the party. That this party will not be bankrolled by one person. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is Africa. This is not Salt Lake City or Seattle, Washington or uh, Bogalusa, Louisiana 
or, or Memphis, Tennessee, uh, Mr. Nakachinda. This is Zambia, where every patriotic front member expects a handout. You are living in a dream world if you think that members of the PF are going to take their hard-earned money and invest in that party. Wrong. Just accept it. You're dead, you're buried, and you're gone. Boom!